Hello one and all, welcome to the A to the K Wrestling Show for our final ringside report of 2022, Indeed. Anthony. It's emotional. Final one. It's emotional. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It is. Yeah, everywhere. That's why I'm so jolly right now. Mm, you can tell. This guy says, part of the festive crew. Ho, ho, ho. I'm wearing a Lion King jumper. So And I'm not. I've got that going for me. Um, but Anthony, coming up tonight on the ringside report. Do it. We have Vince McMahon wanting to return to WWE. Yes, we do. We have Mandy Rose leaving WWE. Not good. Um, Sasha Banks is too damn expensive and she is no longer going to WWE, but she will be appearing at Wrestle Kingdom. Um, We have Matt Riddle with an expensive habit and uh, being written off TV temporarily. Yes. Um, Internal reports list Brock Lesnar versus Gunther for WrestleMania. We have some news on the potential position that William Regal will be returning to WWE in, in January. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those were words. Tony Khan confirms Forbidden Door 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> nice. Multiple NXT stars considered for main roster call of those two that you see on the screen there. <laughs> Multiple. Um, MLW to pursue a WWE lawsuit. OMG. And uh, Mia Yim deletes Twitter after Austin Theory photo backlash. Indeed. Not Anthony... backlash, not the pay-per-view backlash. I just want no. to be clear on that. I mean, you never know anymore. They put backlash after everything, don't they? That's true. Photo <laughs> backlash. This June. Austin Theory backlash. Um, Anthony, when's all this coming up? It's all coming up right fucking now. Yes, it is. And um, Yes, it is. Here's the news nobody wanted uh, to <laughs> end 2020. Not even the WWE, evidently. <laughs> so, uh, Vinnie Mac has decided, do you know what? I want to come back because he feels he was ill-advised. Obviously, we are all aware of the scandal, um, several scandals. In fact, even <laughs> additional ones made uh, made light this week as well. Um, but Vince feels he was badly advised, Anthony, and that if he would have just stayed, it would have all blown yeah. over. Yeah, I'm sure he was there with his golf buddies who are all old white billionaires yeah. going, oh, it's just a bit of sexual harassment. I don't know why you quit. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> fuck off, Vince. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so he's currently sat in the uh, in in the in the uh, Winchester, just waiting for it all to blow over. Um, <laughs> uh, I love um, it. I love it. Yeah, like right. I don't know. So uh, just, you since... know what? It's like just like uh, much respect to the man. He mm. built WWE. Yeah, right. You know, with just a small loan from his dad. And, you know. <laughs> anyway, sounds familiar <laughs> actually, doesn't it? To be fair, um, but he, he, you know, he made WWE what it is today, and no disrespect to him at all. But at the same time, it's like. Yeah, you know, you've retired now. People have welcomed the change. People are enjoying the Triple H era, unless you're on Twitter and then you hate everything. Oh, yeah. Um, and, you know, just I, I would have hoped he'd be there looking at it proudly, or like what they're achieving right now. Instead, he's there like, you ruined it, you ruined it. <laughs> and now he's having to come back. I mean, how dare they, you know, refer to, you know, talents as wrestlers and talk about pro wrestling on wrestling you know world wrestling I mean maybe um, it was when they released Mandy Rose and he's just starts power walking back to the building like I ain't having that uh, well yeah uh, but you meant to put her in the ring and make her bark like a dog damn it this, this, this is true but I don't know it's an interesting one so I believe this came from the uh, the Wall Street Journal who were the first ones to report on this and um, yeah since then several sources have reached out to go you know Ooh, what do you think about Vince McMahon coming back and I think pretty much everyone's gone nah but yeah. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, he is the majority shareholder, and so if he wants to come back, I'm not quite sure how that could works. He? Like, yeah, could he? Know. Can he outvote even though he's the majority shareholder? I, I well, don't really I mean, know how, how the whole share thing works. But well, I mean, even if he's is there like even a point in having a board if you don't give a shit what they say? Well, true, but it, it, I mean, essentially, yeah. As soon as some, as soon as a single person gets majority, then it is pointless having a board. To be fair, um, but they're obviously seen as like an advisory board, so. It's interesting. <laughs> we advise you to leave it the fuck alone. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so he is keen to come back. And um, I just think it's funny that he thinks, <laughs> like his stance on it is, I took some bad advice. I should have just stayed and it would have all been fine. Like, why did I have to step that? It's like, Vince, fucking hell. It's like, so. like all my previous problems, I should have just ignored them and eventually they'll go away. Exactly. Um, 
<laughs> Meanwhile, um, <laughs> visit burymyheadinthestand.com um, and find my latest memoir. So, yeah. Um, interesting, but I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just baffled by it. Do you think? Do you think he will? I think there will be a day, potentially, that he will. But do you think it's going to be as soon as this, or do you think it's I, kind of... I like to think some of this has been blown out of proportion. I have no issue with him returning uh, for like appearances or here and there. Returning to the full capacity was, I think, would be the, the wrong move. I think the control should stay with Steph mm. and Triple H and the other guy. And um, Jolly old Saint Nick. <laughs> hey. Um, and, I, you know, I'm not like, I don't want to see his face on TV again kind of approach. You know what I mean? Like, mm. And I get a lot of people are very angry about the allegations, which, again, at this point are still allegations. Um, but... You know, for me, it, it's his product. If you, if you watch WWE and you, you're surprised when you see Vince McMahon at some point, then maybe it's not the show for you. Um, so I have no issue if he returns on screen. Any, like, let's be honest, if WrestleMania come along and he was there, you wouldn't be like, oh my fucking God, the scumbag. You'd be like, well, it is WrestleMania. <laughs> he did build this shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think um, Hall of Fame was bandied about. Maybe you could join that. But yeah, I think now... Well, he's obviously... put himself in. <laughs> Why not? I mean, to be fair to him, he's always distanced himself from it. He didn't want to be mentioned in the thank yous and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I think it'd be nice to honor him in that way at least. But yeah. coming back full time to run the show. <laughs> Wants to come back and they're like, no, you can have a ring. That's it. <laughs> what, the wrestling? No, Vince. <laughs> Your finger. Yeah, poor choice, actually. Um, Good point. So yeah, Vince may be back. Whether we like and it. Better than ever. Or not. <laughs> So speaking of people who are back, that, that was a bad segue. Yeah. But um, this is an interesting one, Carl. I'm glad we're talking about it because um, I kind of like uh, right for starters. No, no, let's tell let's tell people what I'm talking about first. Let's start with that. So Mandy Rose, <laughs> starters, has we'll start the start. Yeah. Dropped the title very recently, and a lot yes. of people were like, okay, you know, fair enough. We're letting Roxanne um, get a shot. You know, well earned. Nice dropping the title to a new talent. What a absolute wonder Mandy Rose is for NXT. And then the following day was released from WWE. Yes. Now, Kowinky Dink. Basically, the issue I've got with it, she was released due to some pictures that were, I'm going to say leaked, right? Yes. From her OnlyFans account, which isn't, it wasn't an OnlyFans, but essentially the same concept, yeah. right? What's, that, what's it called? Like Fan Army or something? I don't know what it's called. Brand Army. So. Something like that. Yeah. So basically, she, she was posting stuff online for you to be able to watch if you pay her. Mm-hmm. Right at mandyrosesacks.com <laughs> or Twitter now. Oh yeah. Um, okay. And then some of it got leaked, and then the internet kind of lost the fucking minds, as far as I'm concerned. Because let, uh, we'll get onto the 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 principle of of WWE releasing it because that is something I want to discuss. But initially, there's so many people like, ah, oh, you know, this is this ah, oh, she should sue someone. This is not right. They've they've leaked their private information. It's like it's not private. Mm. You can't put something behind a paywall and call it private. Yeah. The only thing she's been robbed of here is money. Those mm. were pictures she was selling. Those were videos she was selling. And I'm not saying like, oh yeah, they should have been leaked anyway. But what we're talking about really is piracy and people acting like like it's the same equivalent as like when the the page stuff leaked. Yeah. And it's like no, because this isn't this isn't the fappening all over yeah. again. This isn't someone hacking her phone and getting a private shit. This is a site that she was quite happy for you to go on and pay to see those things yeah. that happen to have been hacked. No one, every fucking one of you, I can guarantee on Twitter, who's moaning about this has pirated a film before now. Same, <laughs> same thing. Yeah. Same fucking I mean, thing. It was intended to be shared, but to a paying audience at the end yeah. of the day. So, so, it's so were films being intended. Yeah. So was every film ever, but yeah. there's still tons of pirating going on. Yeah, it is. So she's a victim of piracy, right? Yeah. But there's so many people on there. Oh, she should, like because basically this. Um, uh, apologies, because I may not have got the name right, but somebody on Twitter called iBeast uh, mm-hmm. apparently is like getting most of the flack for this. Be- and this is the weird thing again, because people are like acting like it was entirely him or her, because I, I don't know the person, um, because they 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 seem to have attributed the leak to that user. But all the user did was comment on the leak. Right. Saying, like, in response to whoever leaked it, oh, um, I, I can't believe WWE are um, not aware or letting her get away with this. Paraphrasing, obviously, but mentioning the fact that, like, shit, like, some stuff on there that WWE wouldn't be too thrilled with. Yeah. And then she's messaged the guy and said, delete the tweet. And he's been like, no. And then he's, 
allegedly jokingly said, pay me, send me a thousand to me cash app or whatever. Because uh, uh, America needs cash app instead of just doing bank transfers. Ooh, wow. um, and then they've uh, like basically put that off as a joke, like, nah, nah, I'll delete it. And then put the conversation up on their Twitter anyway. So they've been a bit dickish, right? But at the same time... So Mandy messaged them and said, can you, pull, yeah, like, can you please delete Because them? it was... And they went, they went to like, delete the pictures. They were like, delete your comments because I do not want WWE to know about this. That's essentially how it seems to have gone. Yeah. And then people are losing the shit. She should sue him. It's like, for what? Having yeah. an opinion. Exactly. A sh- maybe yeah. a shitty take, but having yeah. an opinion, he's gone, oh, WWE wouldn't like this and now he, he should get sued, apparently. Yeah. I mean, obviously I disagree with all that kind of stuff. The problem I have with the whole thing is, right, you've got the whole wellness program. So you've got the likes of Riddle, you've got obviously Jeff Hardy, you've got countless others who've benefited from this, which is if you, you know, are a drug addict, you're an alcoholic, you're whatever you are, then, you know, we'll we'll basically take you off TV and we'll pay for you to go from treatment and you can have two or three strikes, right? Hmm. For Mandy. She's found out, like, they found out that she's got a site where she posts moderately risque stuff and they fired her. Here's the thing. And this is still allegedly at this point. So apparently, Dave approached Mandy and said, that goes against our policy. We've got some sort of deal with Mattel or some shit. They don't want you putting your tits out there because they don't want to have to try and recreate them on a doll or something. I don't know. Uh, but they basically were like, Mattel don't want the nudes, right? So you're going to have to delete Is it. it. Mattel, really, because of Mattel? They have a deal with Mattel yeah, and okay. Mattel, because they make child products, don't want the association with that kind of thing, evidently. Right. Uh, so they've gone, delete it. And she's gone, no. Yeah. I am making fucking... Tons of money, mm. fuck Mattel. Uh, that, that might not have been exactly what she said. I, I and kind then, of hope that's what you actually said, to be fair. <laughs> and they've gone, if you don't delete it, we'll fire you. And she's gone, we'll fire me. I, again, yeah. all, uh, I don't know exactly how the conversation's gone, but apparently the option was there to remove it and we'll say no more. Yeah. So in all, fair, not in fairness to WWE, because I'll get on to a gripe I've got with WWE in a sec, but they did, it, by the sounds of it, it weren't just a straight up, nope, that's it, no. Nope. Mm. People are seeing your boobs now. Not having this, you're fired. It was uh, a discussion that didn't go the way people yeah. wanted it to go. I don't know. It's, it's, now, it's, it's, it's fascinating, isn't it? Here's the thing. Right, so I'm not going to try and be one of these guys, right? Or one of these people, should I say. Because everyone does it, right? Where you go, ah, misogyny, right? But I can guarantee if Triple H could make money or any or Sean Mike. Let's go with Sean Michaels, right? Sean Michaels definitely would have done this, right? If Sean Michaels girl. back in the day, when before he looked a little less like a homeless man and and used to be the heartbreak kid, right? If Sean Michaels back in the day when he actually did, I think he did play girl or some shit anyway. So mm-hmm. this is sort of leaning onto my points. Could have made absolute fucking money selling pictures of himself online. He would have done it, and no one would have battered a fucking eyelid. Yeah, right. This is like a revenue stream that basically is considerably better for female right for the for, for the for the women right and female wrestlers can make a shit ton of money doing this if they want to and WWE sort of cutting them off at the knees going no can't do that can't make money that way because we can't so we don't like and I'm not saying that's why but guaranteed if if uh, you know certain male wrestlers who are in favour with the right people were like I want to do this and it makes me decent money they'd get away with it yeah and uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to play that card but no, I, I mean, just it's, think it's, it's it's laughable that it's like, well, yeah, I know you can make a shit ton of money. Like, apparently, according to Tony Storm, more money than you were actually getting paid in your <laughs> yeah. WWE contract doing I mean, it. But we're not having it. Yeah. Just, it's like, it, it's their choice, man. Yeah. I mean, the problem is consistency. Because, again, you know, I'm going to use the wellness policy for this. Because similar to what you just said, it's like the Asta and said, oh, you know, oh, <clears throat> you don't really agree with... Um, with this kind of thing, would you you know going to take it down? She went no, and then you fired. Now for the wellness policy, oh, we really don't like you taking cocaine. So well, that's strike one. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah, okay. You've, I, I, I totally you give you that. Like literally fired. <laughs> they went like they went well. Okay, well you know. I will say though, you can keep your accounts, but don't is, post any more risque there, stuff. There is no rehab. For it, well, that's the only thing. Yeah, but like, it's not like she's in like a retreat somewhere, and every time she gets a phone out, like, I have to go. No, nope. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but I don't know. I, it 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 seems unfair to me. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, she's seen this as a viable revenue opportunity for her to go and do right. And it comes back to this whole: you can't make money outside of WWE bullshit. Yeah. 
It's like, have some consistency with the things you're doing. Like, I get it. Your contract will say you can't do X, Y, Z things. That's cool. But why is it like stuff like fucking really bad fucking drug use and alcoholism and all this other stuff? You get a little slap on the wrist another twice, like, you know, two times, and then it's like, okay, now nah, you're gone. But something like this, it's like... <laughs> Maybe it's relatable. We found it. Maybe they're like, look, it. No, we've all done fired. an insane amount of blow. I get where you're coming from. <laughs> but, they can't relate to this. Well, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, <laughs> it, it baffles me, to be fair. I, I don't think it's fair. I do think she's been hard done by. And, yeah, you know, maybe. I think anyone who's seen Hot Takes, for example... I am not a big fan of Mandy Rose. No, at I, all. I, I, I'm not yeah. saying this because like, oh fucking, oh, I'm a big, you know, Mandy Rose stan. I'm how not... how you feel about it now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It depends what else. No, I could. Um, it's funny because I joked with you the other day yeah. saying like um, that slightly risque content might get a lot more risque now she's not got to the WWE to worry about. <laughs> like, I mean, it's it's one like, of them. And at the end of the day, she's making money from it, so fine. You know, you go do you. You know, this all this thing at the minute around you know fucking bad girl boss and all that kind of shit is like the big fucking onus she's gone and making her own bank so I think I've, I've been saying I've said this to you before like to me this is like it's a revenue stream that they can tap and they, they there's plenty of people making like people paying off houses and fucking cars and all sorts of doing this shit yeah you know that's fine if they're not bothered by it then that's, a, that's their choice in it if they want to make absolute money guess who's buying it guess who's buying this content true the part of the people who are fucking moaning probably yeah probably fucking Triple H <laughs> <laughs> It's said fire. Stephanie found <laughs> Stephanie found it on my computer, and um... but um, no, I think for me, for a company that has previously had their divas like do Playboy and stuff like that, I just sorry for using the term divas, but we're talking about that era, mm. and I get that it's a different time, so I'm not gonna harp on that too much. This was this is a PG product now, but I just think it's like it's laughable. It's like surely there's some sort of arrangement you can make where you go, okay, look, if you're gonna do this, you're not gonna make that Mattel money. Yeah. You know that that small percentage you get yeah. when we sell action figures. You're not gonna make that. Yeah. And then she could have gone. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Mm. It's uh, I don't know though. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Obviously, they still put China in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Apparently, there's another one, right? Sorry. And I don't know the names of the stars, Carl. Sorry, can't help you there, right? But apparently, they've hired people to NXT who already had OnlyFans accounts, and now all they've gone to them is gone. <clears throat> okay, look, we get it. You're making money from that don't put any more things on there yeah. so it's like okay so they can they can leave the existing content up hmm. and that's fine that's kind of weird it, too it comes back to like regulating like you can't regulate what somebody does at the end of the day like you know if you've got an OnlyFans account then you, you're banned what if someone has an OnlyFans account and posts <laughs> cosplay and there's no nudity or anything you know what I mean are they still banned like what? where's the line where's the like line? you know what I mean it's just it's, about it's, here <laughs> <laughs> But it's like it's the same for the wellness thing. It's like you know, oh, if you do pots, uh, you know what I mean. But if you do fucking, you know, you're a proper bad smacker, then it's, it is that different. Like there just need, like there just Maybe. needs to be consistency. Basically, I, I th- honestly think it's it's really like it's really harsh on it. Um, to yeah. be fair, to be fired straight yeah. away for yeah. something when there's there's a lot of people doing a lot worse and have got away with it. I'm waiting, right? Well, I'll give it six months before she comes back and WWE go okay. You can have OnlyFans accounts, but we control them and we take a majority <laughs> of the profit. That's when they're going to be okay with it. Yeah. The same way they did Cameo. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway. Um, so the next one to talk about, we've touched on this before quite a few oh, times I... in the past. Um, so it's probably a, a bit of a minor update to be fair. But um, Sasha Banks is very much still set to appear at Wrestle Kingdom. Now, it's only planned to be an appearance at this stage. She's not going to be wrestling. However, um, the belief that's come from Uncle Dave is that they were negotiating with Sasha um, to try and get her to resign and all that good stuff. And apparently they were very, very far apart on money. And so ultimately, according to Dave, that she's pretty much done with WWE now because they can't come to a deal. I love the term. He always throws that in pretty much. Pretty much. So that if that doesn't pan out... As of now... We said, yeah. well, I did say pretty much. I never said she was totally, I mean, totally done. There's no sent... definitives in wrestling journalism. I said pretty much, so the fact that she's come back is, is not on me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what we do know is she will appear at Wrestle Kingdom. Um, but the belief is that they have managed to negotiate a pair appearance deal with Sasha. So that could indicate that even though uh, you know Wrestle Kingdom she'll just be appearing, she may actually wrestle a couple of matches for a set amount of money over there, um, which... Could be very interesting. Obviously, Carrie Sane and people like that. Obviously, for New Japan at the moment. Um, Where are you saying this is the first one you're probably going to watch? 
it looks fucking awesome. Yeah, it does I'm look not a New Japan guy, but they've literally got you know fucking all the Marvel. Well, well I mean, they've got. I mean, Kenny Omega versus Will Osprey by itself is fucking fantastic. You've got Jay White on a card. You've got a fucking you know Kairi Sane's on there defending. You've got loads of awesome matches on that card. You've got people from Impact, people from AEW, from WWE. Carl Anderson's there. Yeah, apparently he's getting to defend. Um, I'm surprised they reached a deal on that. It seemed like they were just going to be guns about it. Yeah, so I mean, to be fair, you know, Tony Khan, you can have your forbidden door and you can have a second one, which we'll come on to in a minute. But uh, you've got a forbidden window. New Japan did it fucking better. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. But um, yeah, Sasha Banks is going to be making several appearances by the sounds of it for. Um, New Japan, and this could come back to what we said and come back to my wild prediction that we are going to see a wrestle outside of WWE. It seems pretty much like a, a given at the minute, so, um, and maybe not, that's not where that the whole, wild was it. Maybe that's where that you know Mercedes Monet thing yeah. has come from. She's going to be making some real Monet now. She, she may do. So yeah, fascinating stuff. Speaking of fascinating stuff, Carl, mm. damn, he looks sweaty there. Jeez. <laughs> uh, so Matt Riddle has been written off TV, Carl, and this is probably <laughs> going to set you back on that, that same rant because he was written off TV for his second mm-hmm. wellness policy violation, apparently doing cocaine and I want to say MDMA. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's having an absolute whale of a time with his new girlfriend by the seams of it. And uh, WWE have gone, you know what? No, nah, we're going to have to suspend you. So he's been suspended for a second uh, wellness policy violation. And apparently, mm. if um, if he keeps up, this you know next step would be release, unfortunately, for him. Well, how would you make of this? I mean, he seems like a talented dude. He's done some really good work with um, RK Bro. I, I massively sympathise for him, to be honest, because he's had an absolute torrid time. He's obviously yeah. divorced from his wife. He's been kept away from his kids. Um and you know he's he's going through some shit and you know unfortunately he's decided to turn to harder substances to try and help him you know deal with that and it's not good and I hope that obviously this stint in rehab will sort him out um and it's worked for many others before um to to get him on the right track but obviously yeah. he had a really good thing going on with WWE and um just a crying shame I think and yeah, I feel like he was at the start of his career really with yeah. It. You know, I know he had a good run in um, NXT, slightly good run, probably more notable for the main roster, really. But yeah. you know, he had this good, he had this cage match thing and all yeah. that. Whatever I mean, you call he it. he he's a very prominent character, isn't he, in in WWE television? Um, Without a doubt. Yeah. And now, obviously, he's gonna have to take that time away. But you know, I still, you know, I'm I'm still in the same um, mindset as much as I feel for him, and I'm sympathetic for his situation. Hope he gets better and stuff. I still, it still baffles me how his second violation and it's like oh you know we're going to do this and it's like he's not fired it, it's just not fair do you know what I mean I'm not saying he should be fired I'm just going back to Mandy it's just I don't know you just don't want anyone fired well it's fine if it's consistent if it it's strikes like, me the only person you don't want fired you, you're happy to be fired should I say is Vince McMahon no nah, I back. didn't mind Vince <laughs> Jeff Jarrett I was happy ah right okay Jeff Jarrett yeah, was, I'll give you that was cool um, but just be consistent. If it, you know, if you've got a three strike policy, cool. Have a three, you know, have a three strike policy. If you said to Mandy, well, do you know what? We don't like you having this, and she went, well, I'm having it. Right. Okay. Well, going forward, please don't do X, Y, Z things. If she then goes and does them, that's strike two. Going forward, don't do them things. If she still does it, then. But it's like the first thing you got like you got Bruce Pritchard. They're like, I'll monitor the situation. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um. So yeah, I um. You know, it's 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 such a shame, isn't it? Because obviously, um, that it, it is. sounds. And I know that we joke because I was like, oh, well, he's obviously now fucking dating some porn star and he's doing blow in you know clubs in Orlando allegedly. And you were like, where do I send the fucking sympathy card? And I was like, that's hilarious. But obviously, at the same time, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. well, it was meant as a joke yeah. though. Like, oh no, it was funny. I laughed. It, was, it, it you know, it was a good joke. But it's like we take it, we know, take drug abuse seriously. Well, exactly. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Swiftly moving on to what has been listed internally in WWE is a, a match at WrestleMania for Brock Lesnar and Gunther Anthony. Uh, okay. So apparently this is the only confirmed match at the moment uh, behind the scenes, at least the one that's like it always makes me laugh when they go, it's you know, it's 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 you know, it's it's definitely there and it's it's been written up. It's like what is there just a a fucking A4 piece of paper on the door and it's just like. Gunther versus Brock. It's like a sign-up sheet for, like, you know, who gets in the fucking the, the show. I don't really get it. Mel's is just walking down the corridor and he's like, oh, <gasps> news. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so 
Günther, 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 how do you say it? Günther, Günther versus Brook Lesnar uh, at WrestleMania. I couldn't, I, I'll be honest, I thought you might have started like possibly German, and then it kind of went more like Russian. I'm, I'm not quite sure so, where that was. Yeah, um, but I think this will be a banger of a match. Yeah. To be I fair. Um, the only thing I will say. And Brock has impressed us of late, but neither of them are massive talkers. Yeah, maybe. It's not um, going to be like Seth Rollins' level of uh, promo, is it? No, maybe not. But... I mean, if he can pull off a decent match against Bobby Lashley with no one really being a decent talker and actually putting some savage jabs in there, I'm sure we can get to some sort of storytelling point where it, it makes a lot more sense. That and true. as you say, from a match standpoint, be a banger. Yeah. Um, I don't really know if you need much promo to sell this. At the end of the day, it's like... Gunther, I can't say it. Gunther. Gunther. Gunther, mace. Gunther. That's why you're trying to avoid it, isn't it? Because you sound more scouse. Yeah, I don't want to sound that scouse. Basically, Gunther, mace. And oh, Brach, Gunny. Brach, Lester. Um, I couldn't have an absolute fucking banger, mace. Our ah, kid. Um, <laughs> our kid, Brach, and fucking Gunther. Um, I'm going to smash it. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I think awesome match, to be fair. Will it be for the IC title is the question. No. I don't know whether Brock's ever won it. No. Okay. Didn't need to. That's Main fine. event guy from the off. I mean, you talk totally about the, um, what do they call it, when you get all the belts? Collect them all. Doesn't Pokemon. care about it. Doesn't care about the Grand Slam. Cool. Grand Slam. Um, doesn't, doesn't care about it. He's all that, about the big title. Isn't that an AW thing? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so maybe he does want the IC title. Nah. Maybe that's where it's going to be. He don't give a shit. He's like, main belts, it's all I want. So, Carl, William Regal, like we reported on this, I want to say last week, maybe the week before, that uh, William Regal has sadly left AEW. And this is sadly because I, I really thought he would be a massive asset to AEW. However, it was rumored at the time he was making his return to WWE. And now we've got a slight insight as to what his potential role may be. Mm. And this is simply that he is going into a vice president kind of role. Now, we don't really know whether that's at the White House or... No, I was kidding. Uh, we don't really know what fully the capacity is or the job title is, but we know it's going to be essentially a much bigger position than he was in previously. Um, now, I believe, like, quietly, there is no longer any Bruce Pritchard. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, damn. That should have been news by itself. No, it's not Bruce. Who am I thinking of? No. Johnny Ace. Yes. I went for the totally wrong guy <laughs> because I'm a great news reporter. Um, yes, there was no Johnny Ace. So I, whilst there was not a big thing of like, oh, Johnny's been really... Like, Johnny Ace or John Laurinaitis <laughs> Lauren yes. um, is apparently no longer with the company. It's hard so, when you get uh, Laurinaitis, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. We'll have to ask uh, Nicky and Bree. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. I just meant as Stop like getting a... us sued. <laughs> <laughs> so my guess would be, is he going to be into some sort of vice president of talent relations? Maybe. Which would actually be quite a suitable role for him, to be honest. He would. I mean, Regal was always um, Triple H's right-hand man um, down at NXT. Uh, way, way back in WCW, my friend. Well, yeah, to be fair. <laughs> they go way back. Um, so it does not surprise me to think that um, he'll get that kind of role and he deserves it as well he is a yeah. fucking talent for the business no, he's got that's such the thing. a keen like, eye for talent ledge. and you know um, everyone agreed whole, so. like I'm, I didn't hear a single word of anyone going it was the right call when WWE released him everyone even like Twitter mm. was like the fuck are WWE thinking fucking hell Twitter I know damn that's how universally loved this man is Exactly. He's even got Twitter on board. Everyone was just baffled by the choice to release him. And uh, by all accounts, you know, that choice was uh, made by some people who weren't big fans of him. Yeah. Mm. I saw that, actually. I'm trying to avoid getting Inside sued. the Ropes. <laughs> yeah, he done, yeah, he done the interview. With, yeah. I'll let you watch the interview with Inside the Ropes. Who was that? I was worried about being with him. Who was that? I'll have to check that out because he never said the name. But he no, he alluded to it. And I was meant yeah. to look That's it up. why I'm not going to hazard a like, guess, to be honest. Um, because you can tell I, me. I don't want to be unfair. But he's alluded to the fact that certain people were responsible for that release. Yeah. And they weren't the likes of Vince or no. Flip. Well, he said it was people who came in to look after NXT at that time. But I didn't know who that was. So I was um, like... Mm. And there's a lot of people... You know, I, I, just, I don't know why I'm trying to avoid it again. Um, I think, because I feel like I'm naming him again, but I believe the suggestion is that it might have been Bruce Pritchard when they were saying he's going to be... But he's gone now. <laughs> look... 
I, can, I, I was wrong, okay? He's probably still around somewhere. But by all accounts, um, it, the, the belief, and there's obviously, he's not said it himself, and this is just what people are summarizing from the internet, but suggested as it might be Bruce Pritchard, who's not a big fan of him, because um, he was obviously at one point overseeing everything yeah. for a little bit. Yeah, fair play. Yeah. Um, which is crazy, to be fair. How can you not love William Regal? Who doesn't love William Regal? How can you not love a little villain? There he is. Um, speaking of things people don't love, um, I kid, of course. So, Forbidden Door, um, some people loved it, some people hated it. It was definitely unique in what they did and, um, you know, unfortunately was uh, blighted by injury and circumstances, which meant they couldn't put on the probably the card they wanted to but it was still good yeah, it was yeah. some good matches it better than um, I expected but most of all it was a commercial success according to Tony Khan um, and ahead of the Ring of Honor press conference thing that he did um, he commented <laughs> on this and basically Those said things you know, that they they're not called anymore like are they, are they press conferences are they full on assassinations of your product you know who knows yeah uh, but yeah, based on the success of the uh, initial one, uh, Tony confirmed there will be a second one. How could they not do one based on that success? So um, it's even, fascinating, really. Even dorier than the last one. It's fascinating because will we get to see some of the matches that we couldn't see the first time around because of injury? Um, I don't know how it's all going to kind of play out. Do you think it'll only be New Japan and AEW? Do you think based on what we've seen at Wrestle Kingdom. I mean, I think further. there's going to be some heavy New Japan involvement because we've had this whole talk about Ring of Honor and New Japan being heavily involved in the Ring of Honor product that is going to now be available on like ringofhonor.com or whatever, um, which was probably, like it by all accounts, was quite a disappointment for a lot of people. Like, So there's no TV deal to be available online with the pay-per-view deals going to TNT, wherever they are. Mm. Um, but... Yeah, it was a bit bit of a damn script, that, really. Um, but there's a lot of talk of New Japan being involved in the Ring of Honor side of things, so they obviously have a much bigger working relationship than maybe they did the last time, so I can yeah. see them being heavily involved. They've had a history of working with Impact. <coughs> <coughs> Let's choke on that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, how dare he say it? Oh, I'm just going to have to watch that taste out of my mouth. With it, with it. Ah, Impact. There's something about the word impact that just really irritated my throat. I don't know what that was. Uh, but um, it's something about impact that irritates a lot of people's eyes, yeah. to be fair. So it's fine. Um, but, uh, apparently, because I didn't realise Don Callis isn't anything to do with impact anymore. Oh, right, okay. Which I, I, I didn't. I was like, oh, I yeah. thought he was kind of just brought over to work with Omega. I didn't think he'd actually, you know, left. But mm. yeah, he's not to do with it. It is interesting. I think obviously you've got the connection with Ring of Honor now, so it's like it'll probably be more than just AW and New Japan because Ring of Honor will definitely be in the mix. But I don't know. Will we well, see? Let's face it. If he uh, let's you know, I'll I'll start the Ruben Mill Carl for stuff that's never going to happen. But I'm going to guess it anyway. He's going to work with WWE. It's fucking crazy. Can't believe it. <laughs> well, Sasha Banks does she at Wrestle Kingdom? She does. She banks right down at Jacksonville Bank. Ah. Um, so yeah we are getting a Forbidden Tour 2 nice speaking of things we're getting mm. uh, so apparently and I'll mention another thing actually while we're mentioning this but um, WWE are rather pleased with some NXT talents Carl, and um, the push to the main roster maybe imminent the two names that have been bandied about I just thought I used the term you know, bandied, bandied. Um, are one Cameron Grimes and Von Wagner mm. now yeah that's underwhelming <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um, you know fair enough I'm, I i can't really say a lot on this because I don't really know anything about Bob Wagner if I'm honest I've kind of given up on NXT when he was there um, he looks like Edge from Wish I always found Cameron Grimes to be rather disappointing and I never understood the people uh, fucking fascination. Him, don't they? Yeah. but you know what he's over with a certain crowd so fair enough push him why not mm. um, similar, similar to LA Knight isn't it S- some people like him for some reason so fuck it push yeah. him why not we can't figure that out on this show but... however and obviously we won't have images of this because we don't know who they are the but there's a rumour that um, Triple H is not overly pleased with some of the talents he's brought back recently. Uh, I did read that actually um, nice little segue onto this Thank uh, you. which when you think about it who has he brought back that has under delivered now well, for me it's um, that group on Smackdown whose names I can't Hit remember. Row Hit Row Shit Row I said it with <laughs> I, <laughs> no I agree team. but 
like because they've not said who is disappointed them and we won't really know until ultimately they go and they either go to nxt or buy um like there's people throwing out like carrie and cross and stuff and i'm like that's i mean kind of yeah i mean they've been like, a dis- he's not done a lot yet though the thing is they've been a disappointment to us as fans but triple h is booking them i don't understand how we can go they've been a disappointment since i brought them back well you're telling them what the fuck to do trips so, you see, this is where I'd agree with the shout on Hit Row more mm-hmm. than I would Carrion, because Carrion's only just moving into a program with Ray, which is probably the first substantial thing he's done on the main roster. I don't think it's fair to go, well, you, the way you threw that water at Drew was disappointing as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. So for me, Carrion needs more time, and I don't think Carrion's the one on the chopping block, but that's one of the names that's... Uh, yeah. I don't think that's been <laughs> one of the names on the uh, on the, the rumour. Like it's certainly what's going on the internet, but I don't think that'll be one of the names that, that Triple H is, is concerned about. No. The likes of Hit Row, I think you may be right. I think it's like a, he's gone go out there and you do the you know, the the, the the cool thing that you do because I I don't get it. And um they've gone, Yeah, we'll do that and they've been kinda lame. So They're awful, yeah. they're shit. They, I, I'm they, trying not to be too mean be, about it, but they, go didn't on. Belong, they didn't belong on uh, NXT, let alone fucking main <laughs> roster. They're awful. I was shocked when, like, for me, like Triple H was like, "I'm bringing back these people." I was like, "That's exciting." And then when they got down to fucking shit row, I was like, "All right, now nah, you're clutching me." Like, <laughs> fuck the clutch. Hell. You know what I mean? Just because um, you've got them in your phone book doesn't mean you need to call them up. You know. Yeah. Um, so. And then I, I get some wild names out there, but I, I gain. I don't think this is one. But like people even suggested maybe Braun Strowman. I'm like, nah. He, he loves big meaty men. I mean, he's, he's right, not. to be fair, of all the people Triple H has brought back, the vast majority have done fuck all. Even Bray. It was exciting. Now Bray, Bray's, Bray's been all. bullying a guy who is a lot shitter than people want to believe he is. <laughs> yeah. But like, to be fair, Bray, fuck all. Carrion, yeah, not maybe not his fault. Fuck all. You know, um, shit row, fuck all. Damage control, fuck all. Lost all of that. So he's brought all these people back. And because of the booking, none of them will come out of it going, fucking hell. I, I, feel, like you're, like you're against, I feel like you're against the Triple H era. Well, I mean, I'm not, but people fucking <laughs> love him. He's the saviour of WWE. Look, and it's like, hang on. Gargano is quietly waiting for Tommaso to come <laughs> and back. I think, to be fair, we said a few shows ago, judge it after Mania. And already it's gone sour to a degree mm. before it's even fucking the end of the year. So fans are fickle, but they love wait, things that are new. You wait for Tommaso Ciampa to come back, then we're going to get like Tommaso mm. versus Gargano at WrestleMania this time. That's what we're going to get. Oh, I can't wait. <sighs> Gargano, Tommaso mm. 12. <laughs> 12th in a lifetime. Yep. Um, so this one, um, probably not a whole lot to say about this, but it's it, it, obviously it's fascinating. Um we spoke about it a while ago. Now, MLW um, believe that WWE tried to block their deal. Um, so Fox had a like a sub network. I can't remember what they were called, Tubi or something like that, um, which MLW tried to strike a deal up with. Um, and they believe WWE blocked that deal from happening because they had the deal with Fox. Um, it's a good job and, MLW found a wonderful new home. Exactly. And a better home, I think, right here. On Pro Wrestling TV. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the belief is that, uh, from MLW standpoint, is that do we have a monopoly on the wrestling business and they have blocked a number of opportunities for MLW. Now, the big news here is that this was a um, lawsuit that was filed a while ago and MLW filed and WWE countersued. The belief is that they are now going to have a summons to proceed with this um, lawsuit. So they will be able to continue the, um, obviously, suing. Which is great. I believe they have to land on the community chest before they can actually <laughs> do that, though. Right. Yeah. I'm going to do the Mandala effect here, but I was going to do a, mon- uh, a monocle. He, he never had a monocle. One. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, the old penny bags. Yeah, the more you know. But, yeah. Well, so I think it, it's it's one of them. It's such a... Hang on. I, maybe I can do a better one. So it's going ahead then. I guess you could say the past go. Yeah. The other one was better, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, okay. But it's fine. I like that you had options. You know okay, I mean? yeah. yeah. Um, but hopefully they'll collect their $200. That's all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> That's all it ends up being. Like, oh. Probably, based on the uh, judicial system in America. But yeah, so um, fascinating news. I'm excited. Excited? Probably the wrong word. I'm interested. <laughs> I'm excited oh, to see the court wrong. drama. Ever since Johnny um, Depp, I love court drama. I fucking love that, though, to be fair. <laughs> Didn't you? Everyone loved The nation loved it. Um, but yeah, uh, 
yeah. interesting time. It is. I feel bad though because obviously she's been. Um, I don't know. There's, I don't think she's in a good space at the minute either, which isn't nice to see. But yeah. the, the sociopath. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, and the final one, Anthony. <laughs> you put the image up, Dan. <laughs> okay. I think this has been looked at through a very weird lens, and I want to explain myself a little bit here. So I don't me, know. From me, all my handles, <laughs> Mia Yim posted this photo, mm-hmm. or was at least tagged in it. Some shit like that. Anyway, I probably should have uh, showed that Austin Theory has pants on. Yeah, right. And um, for starters, I'm not the only one who did this, by the way, right? But I obviously work differently to a lot of other people because most people were looking at this and were like, that's inappropriate. She's married. I'm looking at that like, why has he got yogurts? <laughs> right? And then I was like, <laughs> and I was like, maybe I'm weird. <laughs> But then there's people in the comments. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe starting a group because there's people in the comments who are also like, "What's with the yogurts?" So I'm not alone in that thought. What's right? that group called? <laughs> I really don't know. But <laughs> oh god, I, I didn't notice the yogurts. I can't be in the group. I didn't see the yogurts. There was so much to see. I, I neglect the yogurts. But the reason I say I think this is being looked at through a lens is because. She's took this photo. It's a studio photo, quite clearly. So it's been them goofing around when they've been doing photos of WWE. And what studio, Anthony? Well, there was a black leather couch in there. That's oh, all I'm saying. Um, well, that's a very Show you my money in the bank. <laughs> um, no, I think everyone, pretty much everyone gets that, right? Unless you're pure of you heart. Get her? You must get that. <laughs> unless her. you're pure of heart. Black leather couch. Um, anyway. Back rooms. So a lot of people were like, she's married. This is inappropriate. She shouldn't be like jumping on a guy like that and so on like and I'm like I think I think people have forgotten what, what they're watching here hmm. because in a normal world scenario that would be inappropriate. I, I would probably be a little pissed off, right? Hmm. You know, but this isn't like oh yeah, you know, we both work at Starbucks and we were goofing around. This is like they're both wrestlers, they both have to do photo shoots, you know, they probably have to wrestle each other here and there. You know what I mean? Like it's I, I don't think it's as the, the problem that people are making it out to be. You know what I mean? Mm. But a lot of people have jumped on this like, nah, she's married to Keith. This is a clear sign that the marriage is on the rocks and she's clearly shagging us the theory. And it's like, calm down. It's a picture. Yeah. Um, to the point, anyway, that she's... Uh, I don't know if she's deleted her Twitter or just sort of yeah. blocked it for now or whatever. But um, yeah, she's now come off Twitter, as we all do at some point in our lives. Um, we- due to the backlash from this photo. And again, I think... I think people are looking at it through like a, if my wife was doing that, I'd say, yeah, but your wife's not a professional wrestler, dickhead. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of get what you're saying. I don't 100% agree with it. I won't lie. Um, well, you don't, you don't like the picture? No, I mean, but like if, if somebody, I don't know, two actors were on a, a an acting set and they had to do combat with each other and then... Who's <laughs> you with your technical at, terms? At, at the premiere, we're like jumping at each other like that. It's like, well, you couldn't excuse that because they, they fought on set. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't think it's a problem. Like, men and women can be friends. <laughs> yeah, it's normal. It's a thing. You don't like. You know what I mean? You don't have to just shag everyone. But, um, but again, look at the context of the picture. It's not like somebody's been walking around backstage and you turn yeah. the corner and she's like, ah, well, exactly. You know, yeah. it's it's, not like, it's clearly a. Shh, don't let Keith know. <laughs> they, they had a professional it, photographer like, and a fucking back screen yeah, thing. Exactly. Um, yeah, technical terms again. So what are these? <laughs> what do you mean? A brick, solid brick wall. I actually kind of just hit Austin for some reason. Illusions. I hit me at that time, but I was like, Illusions, Anthony. It's all about the mystique. Um, But the point being, I feel like it's not like a photo they've caught like backstage where they're being inappropriate. It's like clearly they were asked to or asked to do that over goofing around or something. Yeah. But it's like it's clearly a photo shoot. Yeah, I don't know. It exactly. just seems um, seems a bit of an overkill. Is my point. Yeah, it's a, I, I don't know. People will literally. I think people will jump on anything at the minute but that will, <laughs> it's not going to help what I'm trying to say but yeah I, um, that's, I don't think Austin was prepared for it because he was just trying to have his yogurt exactly you know I think we need to lift them up at this oh fuck basically <laughs> it's fine and we'll move on um, and that Anthony was the news for this week the final ringside report of 2022 it's been emotional it has it's come full circle Vince McMahon may be back I know right what a after roller coaster this, ride it after was after all this some other news I can't remember right now that happened as well Sasha Banks 
There's yeah, that, that, that stuff. Your ones. I don't remember. All the stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's all good. Um, but Anthony, before we go, um, we have to ask, where are you watching this right now? You're watching it on YouTube. Thank you. Poor. Your, your laptop. Well, yeah. Okay. Oh. The illusion. Them. Yeah. I, I thought you were asking me. No. Oh. Um, but if you are watching it on YouTube, we do thank you for that. Um, you should comment and like it because that helps. But you're also missing out. Did you know that? I'm just telling you now, friend to friend. You're missing out because... <laughs> Come in closer. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> Free. You could download Pro Wrestling TV. And as well as watching us on there, you can watch a plethora... Oh, plethora. Great word. ...of wrestling... Yeah, I'll do it to you. That's right, Carl. Yeah. You can watch um, TNT. That's the one. The local lads. Yeah. You can watch MLW. Yeah. You can there. watch Warrior Pro Wrestling. Have a pay-per-view this weekend. You do. Tonight? No, tomorrow night? Soon. Yeah. When you watch this, tonight, probably. Probably. At some point yeah. after we've recorded this, but not necessarily... Yeah. after it's aired yeah. I don't know either way Check Warrior Pro Wrestling, Wrestling you'll see That's what I'm saying. they've got a pay-per-view coming up mm. you've got Triple A on there mm-hmm. then you've got other talk shows you've got the likes of uh, um, Alicia Ratut Alicia Ratut which I was going to say wrong again but yeah. there you go I still think that's right you've got the likes of Offer Chops on there yeah Us yeah Chop Factory Chop Factory uh, no Fight Factory Chop Sports what is it? Those guys. <laughs> I can't believe you. I, I followed your lead as well, I'm man. I'm so sorry. My bad. Fight but Factory. You cool are guys. right. It's Fight Factory. Awesome, um, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, along with, like, I, I mentioned it the other day, and I can't, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but uh, Say the Mania on there. I want to say that. That's yes. potentially it. Yeah. But the um, documentary. Fan, fanship to Friendship. Yeah. Uh, fantastic documentary. Thoroughly with enjoyed. The one and only Hulk Hogan, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, so go and check out Pro Wrestling TV. Now. Um, Christmas is fast approaching and there may still be time to pick up all the mini kegs from Top Rope. And while you're doing that, you can get 10% off with 8 you of the K10. Can. Eight so of the K-10. as Anthony always says, that means you should buy 10% more. In fact, 100% more. It's all yeah, I was, making, I was suggesting they buy twice as much because, yeah. you know, math. Yeah, fifty percent more for ten percent off. I'm sure that adds up. Um, and also, um, you know, want to stay warm in the winter? Buy a t-shirt. I know I do. That's what I say. Um, so, Pro Wrestling <laughs> Tees have all nice. our latest designs, including the collaboration tees from our pals Alt Wrestling Tees, who you can find on Instagram, who have their own red bubble with some fantastic merchandise on there as well. I've got several in my basket, so I will be purchasing those for family and friends for the holiday season. Whether they like um, wrestling or not, <laughs> yeah, they're getting a Basically, shit. I'm going to give me dad a t-shirt that says, you know, I like this hat, and he's going to go, I don't know what that means, and I'm going to say it doesn't matter. You wear it and people will will wear it. Um, And so until next week, Anthony, we will bid everybody adieu and we will say thank you, fuck you, and bye.